The Prologue to Endymion by Keats A thing of beauty is a joy forever. Its loveliness increases. It will never pass into nothingness. But still will keep a bower quiet for us. And a sleep full of sweet dreams. And health. And quiet breathing. Therefore on every morrow. Are we wreathing a flowery band. To bind us to the earth. Spite of despondence, of the inhuman dearth of noble natures, of the gloomy days, of all the unhealthy and or darkened ways made for our searching. Yes. In spite of all, some shape of beauty moves away the poor from our dark spirits. Such the sun, the moon, trees old and young, sprouting a shady boon for simple sheep. And such are daffodils, with the green world they live in. And clear rills, that for themselves a cooling cupboard make, against the hot season. The mid-forest break. Rich with a sprinkling of fair muskrose blooms. And such too is the grandeur of the dooms we have imagined for the mighty dead. All lovely tales that we have heard or read. An endless fountain of immortal drink pouring onto us from the heaven's brink. Nor do we merely feel these essences for one short hour. No. Even as the trees that whisper round a temple become soon dear as the temple's self. So does the moon. The passion poesy, glories infinite, haunt us till they become a cheering light unto our souls. And bound to us so fast. That whether there be shine or gloom or cast, they always must be with us, or we die.